And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's The Bonfire. Comedy oh. Central Radio, Series XM95. Hi, I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson. We're just ping-ponging some fun. Just having some fun. It's Tuesday after Memorial Day. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um... On the holiday weekend. Holiday. Holiday. Oh. Mandatory holiday here at Sirius. Yeah. Is that what they call it? Mandatory holiday? Mandatory holiday. It's just not happening. Uh, Mandatory Metallica holiday. Mondays. Only on the junk. <laughs> JNK. Uh, just the early stuff. Great barbecue thrown by yourself, Christine, and your friend Wayne. Wayne. Uh, um, yesterday. It was awesome. If you, I promise you, the first thing I'm going to hear from Wayne after this is, a pal, why did he say your friend? Yeah, right, I'm sorry, Wayne's the, friend, Wayne, Wayne's barbecue. Yes. I forgot that Wayne's a camper. Yeah. And, uh. Beautiful. Hey, by the way, he always has it there. Always fun. Yes. Great place for a barbecue. It's a fantastic place Perfect for a barbecue. Perfect courtyard. Yeah, uh, Ray and Wayne. Uh, Ray and both. Wayne do a great job. Uh, they throw it down. We had, a, we hired a person that was time, which I realized, not that expensive and worth it. Definitely helpful. Am I right? Look, Christina, the lady that was can't wait to talk about with her. the lady that was grilling. Yeah, yeah. H- how did you guys find her? Craigslist. Craigslist, and she's yeah. like, "I'll just come grill and fucking clean up your mo- I'll mom your Memorial Day party." Yeah, that's what she much. did. You hired a mom. Yeah. And by the way, she looked like a lot of my friends' moms. She was like a white lady with a ponytail, mm-hmm. and she was just. And every time I tried to be nice, she wasn't having it. <laughs> Where I was like, "Hey, these burgers are great," and she's like, "Yeah." I'm like, oh, Robbie, your mom's kind of mean. <laughs> I mean, very great barbecue, but kind of mean. Morning, yeah, she was. A, yeah. She was good. Uh, I we would, I would definitely use her again, but I would probably look for somebody. Uh, Carla's complaint on it was everything was burgers, all well done. Hey, you know what though? It's keeping everyone safe. So I appreciate. That's fair it. enough. And by the way, they're also probably, Bubba burgers, so it's like, can't you? They're harder to. I haven't had true. a hot dog in decades. They're so good. Yeah, they're great. I had three hot dogs. You bitch. I had so much hot dogs. You dirty bitch. By the way, I was a little slutty slob. <laughs> the music was night. great. It was, it was such a fun, uh, such a fun hang. The whole bonfire crew was there. Legion of Skanks, Gas Digital, um, everyone was there. Justin Vecchione's. You never made the beta rock playlist. Christine was supposed to do a beta rock playlist. I didn't make it. I wasn't thinking the playlist for the okay. barbecue. Listen, you're talking to a guy that flakes out on bar shows in Ridgewood. <laughs> so I, we all know our sins. There was some I, real. I compiled a list. There was some music uh, uh, debating going on at that barbecue, though. Why? Because uh, it was all going through my phone, generally, yeah. Christine's phone. Yeah. And then people would want to hear the yacht rock, and we put on some yacht rock and be enjoying some. Tunes of Africa and Steely Christopher Dan Cross. And Christopher Cross, yeah, and then uh, people come over and be like, "Jesus, what the fuck!" Like, let's get some party some tunes, old, yeah, some party, like you know, some old school hip hop. Then I put that on, and then you know, we found out from your daughter, uh, Mike that- Vecchione, will make his way over and be like, oh, "Come on, I thought Sinatra we were, Jr." I thought we were going out to <laughs> some, uh, yeah, we, we was all in the Michael McDonald music with some Frankie Valley. <laughs> Vecchione just tries getting the most uh, Italian shit on. Just really super Guido y music. Yeah. What about Bowser and Shanana? I want something that lets me drive my girl home safe. <laughs> Christine and I had a lovely conversation with your daughter about how Wu Tang is dad music. <laughs> Do you understand she how weird that? that is? She's, she's like, yeah, it's my, it's like dad music. And you're like, Wu Tang Clan? And she's like, yeah, Wu Tang is for the dads. Well, I said that we were listening to Wu Tang. I was like, this is dad rock for Isabella. Yeah, and, and she was like, yeah, she was, she was in total agreement. She's like, yeah, it totally is. It's hilarious. Well, I mean, I think in defense, also, did I buy our record player and the Wu Tang album? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got like, the best of the Wu Tang. So it is. Dad rock. I mean, that's really funny. That's I gave it to her in a record, also yeah. like a real jag. You go, this is how we never listened to it. What a should have gave her a CD. Oh my god! What an eight seconds of give a shit about record players she had. Uh, Did you give a her a speech about off. the sound Dude, of vinyl? Kids are worthless. <laughs> they really. It's just. I mean. Well, what? I mean, you know, that's not true. A wealth of stories. Oh yeah. I mean, a wealth of stories and experience. But man, everything she's ever been interested in, she is not anymore very soon after. She said she uses a record player from time to time. I doubt she puts, does, but she said she no does. Way. She puts on a no record. Way. Writes. Yeah. She does some writing. <laughs> she goes, I'm going to do some free writing. Let me put on this record my father yeah. gave me as Mom, a child. Do we have a super melty wax candle I can write by? Uh, <clears throat> Cash rules everything around me. I believe that's the seventh ridge in the... 
hundred dollar hundred dollar bill, y'all. Oh, cash does rule everything around me. A hundred dollar. Sometimes I feel like I have my asshole sewn shut, <laughs> and I just keep getting fed and fed. There was a uh, there was a fantastic, uh, hilarious juxtaposition of all the people from Bonfire and Gas Digital and Skanks and everything hanging out, and the comics, and then like the street artist community of like Wayne's people yeah that he had come which but nothing ill nothing ill about them at all they were all like uh, they were all nice enough but like, it really it just it went into just natural clicks of, uh, like, barbecue with yeah barbecues tend to, to to bear off into natural clicks they're kind of <laughs> yeah. like wedding receptions yeah but that but with comics it's, I think it's harder to break in because it's just such large personalities and if you're sitting on the if you're sitting on the side of the rink watching all that it's hard to like okay. sit down and be like what do you guys do I know but it's also like I know but it, you're all, if you were guessing too you're like hey which one are the street artists he goes do you think it's the all might be Hispanic might be Asian uh, <laughs> kids wearing super oversized headphones with antennas coming off of them yeah. Wearing nanny from Muppet Baby socks and short pants, <laughs> and a guy. You with... think that's you think that's probably the artist over there, <laughs> or do you or... think it's Dan wearing a four horseman shirt? Yeah, or do you think it's the guy dressed like a kid? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the comic? Who's the artist? The artist is like, oh, that guy in the full length uh, silk robe, or uh, <laughs> my buddy in a um, my other cars your mom shirt. <laughs> yeah, dude, I saw a guy in a shirt. This is uh, th- this dude, this Asian dude in Dwayne Reed had a shirt that said, "I hate myself." And you're like, have we just taken parody shirts too far? Yeah. It was fucking crazy. I saw it and I was like, hey, I wanted to be like, hey, you cool, like, bud? It's a statement. Yeah. It's, I, oh, I got it at Hot Topic. Leave me alone, loser. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Ah. I didn't know we were just being that on the nose with our shirts. Dude, the artist, it was so fun. And then, by the way, some artists, that was a great moment, actually. I think it might have been me and Fenoya and Christine. When we were beat leaving, up an artist. No, when we were leaving the balcony at one point, or you know the uh, deck at one point yeah. to go grab some stuff from the store, it looked like a homeless lady had wandered in. Oh, the, I know what you're talking about. And wandered in, the thing, and she's holding like a Whole Foods bag, and it looked like she was wearing like thrift store jackets, and like she was so excited. She looked to, like a, she looked like she was dressed like the pigeon lady from Home Alone too. Yeah, she was so excited to have like uh, four walls around her. She goes, "No, they can't get me while I'm sleeping here. <laughs> I'm protected on so, all sides." And we left and went to the store. <laughs> And uh, we started laughing. We're like, I think a homeless lady may have just joined the party. And then we started laughing as we're going down. We we go out. We go to the store. We pay. We come back. And uh, in this time, we've we've already laughed about the idea. Of, it goes, it'll be funny if that's one of the world's most renowned <laughs> artists, or whatever. Yeah. And then we get back. Like I'm like, oh man, she's still here. And then like 20 minutes later, Wayne, our friend, finally yeah. goes like, oh my god, so and so, so I can't believe oh. you graced us with your presence. And it's like Cecil it's like, Fernandez. <laughs> she's one of the top street artists. She has an yeah. art basil down on Houston that's worth over 17 million dollars. And that was such a great moment of when me did you and- get back from Milan? <laughs> <laughs> Jay and Kia. But that was such a great moment of me and uh, like Fenoy being able to go, it's like, oh shit, it fucking was a goddamn artist. Yeah, like, you great. know, with that moment where you're like, our joke was true. Yeah, where well, you nailed it coming up. You're like, hey, <laughs> even funnier, what if she's a prestigious street artist? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, and you go, you don't know that she's the one that drew the entire <laughs> Iliad on the sidewalks? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> spark she spent left. three years doing it and had to have two knee replacements because she did it all hand and knee on the sidewalk. You guys want to see my uh, if my prognostication is good here? If I'm a good uh, future seer? Ooh, I didn't know you had powers. I think I have powers. I didn't know you're turning the bonfire into the fucking. Uh, X-Men. I'm gonna have a text from Wayne that's gonna say. Uh, hey pal, she's actually one of the foremost, exp- you know, like some kind of weird thing. Like, she painted a skull on the face of the Statue of Liberty, pal. <laughs> yeah. So your guys' little jokes didn't even come. So from. it's tell, funny. So, tell Sutter, tell Sutter, I'll put him back in check spots. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny, but she really is. No, I'm sure. I was certain she was uh, something bizarre. spectacular. But uh, we were discussing earlier, and, and Terminator timelines here. You're going to hear the sort of the genesis yes. it was too good of a topic it was too good of a topic to not bring up on a live yeah. show first of all you're going to hear genesis and you're, you're going to hear the genesis <laughs> of this topic of this topic here but uh this is indeed a a caller topic oh fuck <laughs> well he's never dude i've tried to spring that on him <laughs> so many times. it's never worked the first time what do you have it do you have any like your fifth cachet I have it on every page just in case this happens well, in red and I just can't. I can't well, why don't you go ahead and hit it so I can check my email real quick. Yeah. <laughs> call it, call it, call it. 
<laughs> see what's going on on the World Wide Web. Dan, I'm looking at couches. Do you think this couch? I like this. Or this oh. couch. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, Italian top. Roma leather. Yeah. Full decision? Full decision. This is a bonfire collar topic. From idea to decision. In just one intro. A lion? I just made. Yeah, you I welcome. just learned the lion. Usually I'm toned out by, I'm tuned out by this book. I just made an entire, I just made a major home purchase. Yeah, and I just made a major life decision. I, I am now turkey. Buddhist. Okay. I had an idea, thought about it, shopped around, made a real expensive decision just I reached, in that intro. I reached out to an old friend, apologized, set a dinner date, and confirmed it. He goes, call, he called back because he forgot to tell me something. I realized, you know what? I don't really like this guy. I remember canceled that, the whole thing. I realized that friends grow apart. Canceled the date, reg- had some regret. <laughs> then he made is furious at me again. <laughs> we are, I've come full circle. We're right where we were. Collar topic. Collar topic. <laughs> Collar topic. Did <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it again? Um, I'm back in school learning about myself <laughs> back out so we um, we started talking about uh, fashion senses and changing and it somehow got brought up about bomber jackets that they are skinhead jackets and then it started, we started talking about <laughs> I mean it's crazy you type in skinhead jacket and the bomber jacket I was specifically talking about comes up love it anyways uh, that was my call to google that you really did you fucking nailed it jacket. you nailed it I mean it really does come up as the first and second option <laughs> <laughs> um, but then we started talking about uh, barbecues, which is obviously this past weekend was a holiday weekend. And at barbecues, have you ever had a family member show up just completely different than who they were? Well, okay, because well, we said it was it must have a must have stories. When you, when you have those kind of get-togethers where people really don't see each other for a couple years, and it's but, a but, but every year you do yeah. Christmas or something where everyone really gets together, those kind of families. And someone just shows up, like we said, a fucking skinhead. You're like, is, he, is that Carol's boy? Yeah, or <laughs> with swastika tattoos on his face, like, and just having to deal with somebody there being so mm-hmm. fucking bizarre t- to the normal world. Could you imagine someone showing up? Remember when we, uh, you know, the um, uh, Wild Wild Country? Like, if someone would join that group yes, and then exactly. just shows up, and you're like, so you're just a, what's the Rashnas or uh, yeah, the pa- Pashwans? Yeah, you're just like, oh, Pashwan said that I'm going to, and you're like, oh, fuck. Natalie, what happened? Yeah, you used to be a fun cousin. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. remember, because didn't we do blow together the first time? Remember, I, do you remember at Betsy's wedding when we got hammered? Oh, the first couple of bonfires just sh- oh, up all get late. Dope in here. Zow. But anyways, back Make to sure the we get them topic. some headphones here because they're going to hear these callers. Topic. But yes, have you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> good tease. So essentially, the top. And again, you know, eight four four comedy nine eight four four two six six three three nine nine is the number to call. But there's got to be Black Lou brought up a good point of that black barbecue. Someone showing up. Uh, what, militant. What did you say? militant. We black. said militant, but militant. you said like, or yeah, like a new Muslim, new Muslim, just, yeah. yeah, coming in being like, my brother, why do just you? Got point. out, right. yeah. Well, there's like also like, but anything you think anyone that's there that that was in a murder trial that got off was in the that's got to be weird. Someone, just some crazy fuck, and I just don't recall myself ever. Someone all of a sudden is a, a a boy is now turning into a girl or vice versa. Just something where you're like, oh, I thought we we're gonna go play a little. I wonder if someone's I thought we we're gonna play a little fucking beanbag toss. Just gotta the next be. thing I know, fucking By the way, Hank over here has a puss now. I'm sorry, but um, behind you, Ram Man. No, it's remember Hussein. We had a Saddam, <laughs> Saddam Hussein's brother on the radio. <laughs> Dave Hussein. Dave Hussein. <laughs> That's what it was. Dave Hussein. Was that what it was? <laughs> Dave Hussein. Hey, what's up, everybody? You're listening to the rock that doesn't stop. <laughs> it's Baghdad 1015. All of your hits. <laughs> From the 70s, 80s, <laughs> 90s, and the ta 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 day. We're raining bombs on you like you're Iran <laughs> in the 80s. It's Iraq's number one rock station. <laughs> Cutting off the cleats of all those other stations. Hey, what's up? It's the sword, Dave Hussein. <laughs> a chopping and a lopping. <laughs> it's the curly shoe. <laughs> it's the curly shoe in the morning. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's, I mean, there's got to be, there's got to be people that have done porn and gone to barbecues. That's a big and you realize that someone's a porn or you recognize a porn star. Uh, and you gotta go home and like that's gotta so. be great. Because you have to have one cousin that's like, so I, you're doing porn? Well yeah, there's also stories of people showing up like 
just how many it's important to like I've been a guy like Steven Tyler like you hear a guy like that like dates seriously significantly younger chicks than him right yeah and if you want to keep that girl around at some point you're gonna have to be like she's like my cousin's getting married so we're going and you're going with you're, me my family and wants Steven to meet Tyler's at, wow <laughs> so I, I use him as an example because I've I, almost I think that's the story when I was in Alaska his mm-hmm. young young girlfriend he had at the time was from Alaska. They were like, oh, Steven Tyler was just here for a week for like, you know, someone in, her, in his girlfriend's family was getting married. So Steven, Crazy. so just having like, you know, it's like, oh yeah, it's like Tim and Lisa. Yeah, they just got married. He goes, fucking Aerosmith was there. Yeah, not Joe Perry, the other guy who's the lead singer that yeah. looks like dude you know, like Aerosmith. You go, oh yeah, Aerosmith. They call him Aerosmith is the That's best. That's my favorite. Girls call ba- uh, the guys in the band the name. I sucked Pantera's dick yesterday. You go, Eesh. It's like, what do you mean? Who, like, all five guys? Like, no, Pantera. Like, the guy, Pantera. The guy, uh, he is Pantera. <laughs> yeah. Guns and Roses. You know the guy. The guy. Say it, Metallica. <laughs> um, so people, I, I guess, I guess this never happened, uh, cause no one's calling yet. But if you've had a, uh, a, an experience like that, uh, by all means, uh, call in and let us know what's the craziest also, thing it should be. Your family reunion. Also, graduation or whatever this, it is. This Christmas. beta playlist. What? We, 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 we talked about another Terminator timeline on on Thursday, uh, Alpha Rock. Talking about Alpha Rock, yeah. Which we're going to do a whole, we have to do a whole episode of that. That's a whole episode. Yeah, because we have to drink Monster Energy drinks and we're tank tops. This is it so far. <gasps> oh, you have it together. Oh. Look at that listy loop. Wow. Vertical Horizon. Oh, man. Yeah, there is some real bitch shit on here. <laughs> we figured out, we've, we discovered Beta Metal on a... Uh, there's a whole lo- thing on the lost tapes. There's a whole fucking thing happening. Um, while we wait for the uh, calls to come in, I don't know if we should jump yet. Should we jump topics? Yeah. Oh, do I have the thing up, Lou? Is that what's going on? It. It's the wrong oh, screen. All these Here, I, thought, I mean, by the way, just so you know what kind of person I am, in my mind, I was like, our show's finished. No one cares. You know what? I put on a pretty great caller topic, and not one. By the way, every phone line lit up. <laughs> and I have a, I'm, I'm, I'm Jay, a lunatic. I'm sorry, was, everyone. I'm always ready to. Let's just just hang it up, man. Let's just turn off the lights in this goddamn show. No one I'm cares so, anymore. I'm so ADD that I was just like, I, I'm not allowed to look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I read it instead of talking to Jay. Um, yeah, it, jo- Josh, that's a good one. Josh in New York. Hey, what's up, boys? What's going on, buddy? You're on the bonfire. Oh, thanks. Hey, Danny, uh, great seeing you on uh, Saturday. Me and my chick were super pumped. Oh, yeah, thanks, thanks for coming out. to like pa- a year ago. Oh, awesome, man. Thanks for coming out to Laugh It Up. Yeah, and Poughkeepsie. It was a fun show with Justin Silver, the Beastmaster. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so uh, when I was a kid, I was probably 10 or 11. My parents said, hey, we're going to go see your cousin. I went, okay, cool. So we drove, we were in western North Carolina, we drove to the coast to go see my cousin. Uh, turns out she was getting married and she was 15. Whoa! <laughs> wow! You went to a 15-year-old's wedding? How exclusive! Yeah, it, was, it was, I knew it was weird then and I didn't know anything. Did you know, did your, did your parents ever talk about the fact that your cousin was a child bride? No, not yeah, at all. Yeah, that counts. Apparently that he was, uh, I, I think they're both married still and super fat. <laughs> oh, good for them. They got fat and old together. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And how old well, was the I guy? Mean, old, how, yeah, how old is how he? How old was the guy? Oh, he was like 17. Oh. I mean, they're old and fat, and they're like in mid-30s. Oh, okay. And they stayed together. That's it. That's just one of those. And what part of the country was that? That was uh, the coast of North Carolina. Okay. Really? I was gonna Speaking of North Carolina, I'll be at Good Nights in Raleigh. Yeah! Yeah! This Thursday it's gotta through Saturday. It's got to be one of those places where, like, fucking, you just decide when you're young, yeah. like, this is what this is the best life's going to ever have to offer. Yeah, that guy at 17 has a 15-year-old girlfriend. He's like, this is what it is. We're just locking it up. Let's That's fucking crazy. do it. Uh, thanks for the call, Let's Josh. Yeah. Uh, Michael in California. Lou, if I hit the uh, little hey, green button, doing? right, that'll pick people up, right, Lou? I can do it over here. I feel bad when you're getting uh, yeah. slammed over there. Um, Michael, what's going on, buddy? This sounds like a good one. So we're at a we're at a cookout. Um, buddy Mike goes, damn, that chick looks familiar. So so I'm trying to find her on Pornhub now. I just uh, Google big black uh, boobs, but I, I couldn't <laughs> find her. So she's, she's hot. She's really famous. I just can't remember the chick's name. She comes to... Everybody's pulling her up on their phones, looking at their phones the whole time she's there. I know she felt awkward because, you know, a bunch of guys all cuddled up with their girls. 
she just came with the odd girl that came with one of the guys that brought an extra girl. So she was the extra girl. Yeah. Everybody, my girlfriend was there, now wife, but, you know, everybody's there, all bunned up. She's the hottest thing there. She's in a, like, a, a T-shirt. Is this a pretty white, is, is this a pretty white barbecue? It's a white barbecue, too. <laughs> it definitely stands out. And this is wow, beautiful this is black so buxomy she, woman walking yeah, in. Yeah, was she a, dressed all like crazy porn starry too? Like her areoles were coming out of either side of a strap or something? <laughs> Just a lime green thong under her. <laughs> the, the chicks with the high cut uh, shorts that are real popular go up right in the crack of your ass. Yeah. And a little bit of your butt cheek hangs out. Good for Just her. Just like that. She had... She had the white beater on with the. It looked like either a swimming top. It was you know just covering her nipple. Was she exposing? Little, was she exposing her arm tattoo of a panther gripping onto her arm <laughs> by its claws? What about a bloody knife that was dipped through a heart? <laughs> Deshaun Michaels. With that snake going up her leg. Uh, no, yeah. she didn't have any really stat, uh, stat like that. But did anything she, get in the way of the leopard spot she had tattooed on one part of her thigh, and she's going to finish it at some point? Wait a minute! I think he did have some love. For <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, maybe the maybe the tiger paws on the inside of the tits oh, to be scratched. Oh, you thought you got the Eve? Yeah, the Eve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she, but dude, she, I know her, and I just can't think of the name. And you, Carmela Hayes, she's like uh, everything. She's a but and she's she a bit. She's, she's, she's one of the huge titty ones. Yes, she has nice big tits. Is she fat? She's about five feet tall. No, she's not fat. Little she, person, big tits. She, Got she it. She does all the white on. She's always the black chick that's on the white guys. Light skin. All the DP stuff. Is she it loves light, white dudes? Is it light skinned? No, she's, she's got a, she's she's got a taste for ham, does she? <laughs> she goes, Ooh, I like a girl who likes bologna in the package. Dude, what a great way to call white dick bologna. Oh. bologna. I wish oh. you could think of her name. If you, if you could think of her name at all, uh, Michael. My la- oh, my lady likes the bologna. If you think of the name at all, Michael, give us a ring back. Uh, we'd love to look her up and, uh, and also judge her. Um, thanks for the call, Michael. There's so many good ones. I here. didn't know she was a baloney goddess. Um, just showing up. Oh yeah, dude. People, people have barbecues because their barbecue really is just like a adult birthday party. Oh yeah. Oh here's like a good. little kid birthday party where you show up and you're like, well, this is happening. Yeah. Here's a delicious one. Ooh, uh, Ooh <laughs> delicious. <laughs> this is a great one. I didn't know that our I didn't <laughs> know our show took such an erotic turn. Oh, this one here is going to be succulent. Succulent. Uh, Aaron in Texas, you're on the bonfire, buddy. Hey guys, how's it going? Well, <laughs> um, well, uh, when I was fifteen, uh, I had an aunt named Aunt Ruth. We'll just call her Aunt Ruth, and um, I didn't realize it at the time, but she may or may not have been gay. And one year we were going to Christmas, and it wasn't a barbecue, but it was just Christmas. And um, <laughs> I remember my mom and dad sitting me down, and they're like. Before we go in, there's something about Aunt Ruth that you need to know. <laughs> going through a change in her life. And I didn't know what that meant. And when we went inside, Aunt Ruth turned to uh, Uncle Ralph. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, she had a full-on beard. Wait a second. Wait, full-on did, beard? Did she go with, yeah, did she go with Ralph? Did, was Ralph the name? <laughs> yeah, she went from Ruth to she Ralph. Went from, she, went, she chose... She had an awful woman's name, and she chose an awful. And name. had every opportunity to redefine herself, and then she goes, "I'm also going to give a really stupid guy named Ralph." Hey, oh, cool! Can I get something that's uh, edged out of society? Fucking twenty years ago, I would have gone Raul. I mean, I, I, one of my best friends' his name is Ralph. Ralph Sutton. You know him from this show. Guess it up. But I mean. If he can go back in time and change it, he certainly... Oh, I would Ralph? change my name. Jason? I know Ralph would certainly Why change Why would you his change name. Jason? Jason's a lovely name. I don't like it. Why? I don't know. It was always one of my favorite names. I had a friend named Jason growing up. I was like, man, I'm jealous of that name. It's a cool name. It's a weird name to me. You're the name of the fucking dude in Friday the 13th. What a and badass. the Argonauts. And the Argonauts. Um... So uh, Aunt Ruth became Uncle Ralph. Full beard, though. What was the what yeah. was the uh, testosterone was the treatment on that? Yeah. yeah, the voice was definitely like. What a- was the voice? Like, hey, kids, it's been no. a long time. Hi, um, nice to see you. Ridiculous, super <laughs> ridiculous, and almost pretty fake. Oh, just a whole fake was- voice and everything. Oh my! Yeah, God. it was great. It was great. And well, at least your parents sat you down and didn't let you get blind blindsided. By I think that. the parents almost did. Um, 
did they tell you officially that she was going through a change and becoming a man, or did they just give you that kind of a weird cryptic? She's going through a change, and then make sure when you walk in, you're just beelining right to see what freak of nature your aunt's become. <laughs> do they do the side smirk thing where they go, "Let's just say uh, Aunt Ruth's going through some changes." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they go, "Oh, Tim, you're terrible. He's nine. <laughs> he doesn't understand what you're talking. He doesn't pick up on subtlety yet." He goes, well, he goes uh, that's fine. He goes, let's just say uh, your aunt's favorite car is a trans am. <laughs> she goes, stop it. Stop it right now. You're going to put that in his I'm head. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm can't. bad. I'm bad. I've I already can't. had a rum and coke. I'm already, I'm sorry. I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm flying right now. I took off early, on. babe. I took off early today. You know what? Let me go inside, get some chips in my stomach, soak that up, and I'll stop, talk- I'll stop talking crazy. <laughs> just uh, tell your... Oh, cool. I said, I am there. I'm going to go attack. I gotta go. I'm going to go. Hey, guys. Are you ready to go have some fun and get in there and strap it on? Kick ass. Uh, Sarah McPants. Oh, I am scared of you. Sarah McPants tweeted, my cousin married a special needs girl. Does that count? <laughs> that does count. I mean, Sarah, what? <laughs> Did nobody? I, mean, I have so many questions. Number Sarah, one, you may have to call in and yeah, actually answer some questions bullshit. about, was there... Were, DM her the, the were, hotline because I want to know is he special needs? Were there? Can, hel- you, can you dip down a, a league like that? Can yeah. you go can, below that? Can you go, can that you go and find a hot special needs person I'll and marry do, them? I'll hunt them down. Are you kidding me? I'll make fucking pies oh once a week. Oh my God, I'll take such good care of her. Buy her a parrot. She'll be so out of my league and not even know it. Oh my God, she's just going to think I'm her savior. I, I'll never teach her what leagues are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She's like, that's wonderful. She goes, Jay, I love you so much. And you go, <laughs> Every you go, day is another blessing. Like, and right, then, babe? And then you go, all right, guys, we got to get out of here. I'm going to go fuck her dumb brains out. And then you leave. And then yeah. I go, dude, have you seen Jay's girlfriend? She's <laughs> crazy hot. <laughs> also, certifiably mentally retarded. All right, guys. <laughs> we're going to go tandem bike back to the house. She loves the wind through her hair. Just it's the only time I see joy in her face. You go, I tie a rope to a radio flyer. <laughs> Yeah, just try to just fucking string her along. It's really I take her great. home in a wagon. <laughs> just, that's the wedding <laughs> pictures of Sarah McFancy's family. Just a guy pulling a wagon and like they're smiling. And people are just throwing fucking like uh, packing peanuts at him. Oh, and she goes, no! Yeah, oh, yeah. There's so many questions she for goes, Sarah McFancy. Babe, babe, stop eating the packing peanuts. Babe, stop eating the packing peanuts. Thank you, everybody. Guys, You've been oh, babe, please, stop. seriously. Babe, I don't know what's babe, in those. Drop the rice. Please drop the rice. That's, that's not synthetic. Cooked. That's not cooked. That's not cooked. That's not cooked. We can have it. Yeah. No, put it back. Babe, I'll buy back. you all the rice you want. Put it back. All the rice? All of them. <laughs> we can count them tonight after I come. Yeah, that's got to be illegal. That has to be one. That can't be okay. It has to be 100% illegal. <laughs> what a waste of a good load. Wow. That's true. Look, a special needs load is load, right? I mean. Oh, yeah. Not like a woman couldn't do that. She's like, this donkey dick dum dum. <laughs> I picked him down at a playground. He just blows my back out and doesn't give me much grief. <laughs> yeah. His cum tastes like frosting. <laughs> I let him build forts for his GI Joes downstairs. <laughs> yeah, I let him make. Yeah, I let him make sheet tents in the living room. Yeah, she goes, and then he just lays down on top of me and goes to <laughs> work. <laughs> He's just got a big <laughs> flopping dick. Yeah, and he goes cereal time. She goes after Miss Christine said it feels good. <laughs> uh, did the pants call in yet? Or she can just drop a bombshell like that and then walk away from the phone? Right. Yeah, just walk off home run. Yeah. Says, Here's the best story. No our, questions answered. You want to take our first break? Let's do it and come back with this. Because we have, by the way, the phone lines are completely And violent. no live reads, which means someone doesn't like us anymore. Right, buddy. Oh, I got one over here. Yeah, Jay is the best at live reads. No. I got laser eyes, but you're better at live reads, dude. I'm better at plugs. This is what we do. All right. Um... Now I feel I didn't know that. Do you think I'd be at your plugs back? <laughs> I was just going to say, are you going to turn this into you not doing plugs well? No, you do plugs good. This is going to I want to make sure well. I plug your stuff good. Oh, you plug it real good. I plug it real good. Yeah. Oh, 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 wait. No. You got one coming? No. It might be a pants shit? If I push it, it might be a hemorrhoid. Don't let it happen. All right. Don't break. let it happen to you. We'll take a break. It's the bonfire. Bye. How would your dick look like Macaulay Culkin? Pink and then blonde hair? Your balls are slapping your dick on the helmet. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, it's the Bonfire. We're back, everybody. Big Jay Okerson, Dan Soder. Hi. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Kyle in Dallas says he knows the porn star that it is. I don't know if we can confirm this, though, with the other guy. Kyle, who's the porn star? He said that she's always in scenes with white guys. She's not fat. She's got big cans. Yep. And she's dark-skinned. Man, that's Jada Fire. You guys should know that. Any self-respecting white guy that's afraid to talk to black women knows Jada Fire. <laughs> fire is it Fire? F Y R E? No, no, F I R E. All right, I got, I got creative. Yeah, relax, Flavor Flav. All right, you don't have to put crazy spellings on everything. Maybe I like they're just, black. Maybe I like to unique it up. Is this her? Um, oh, and she's five foot tall, really tiny. I think she's small like that. It looks like she is. Yeah, she's like the one. She's like the chick, for and white dudes always fuck her. She loves white dudes. Perfect. Well, hopefully we can get a call back. Gotta be her. I'm yeah. sorry, Miss. Are you? Uh, first off, what do you think of these veggie burgers? Pretty good, right? Uh, are you Jada Fire? That's, I know. I'd, oh, that'd be great to ask. She though. looks like a young B.D. Wong. Oh, she, well, on, I, don't Jacob, I don't see that. I don't, I don't see that. I don't even see that. It, 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 kind of those ass cheeks. Um, thanks for the Whoa. call, Kyle. I just keep looking over it because the volume is so perfect <laughs> that I look over thinking you just said that. I'm like. Are you just kneeling? Oh, it's so great. Um, it's, uh, Did Sarah McPants, we get a hold of Sarah McPants? I, I mean, I have that. She's not calling yet, but we're going to get to the bottom of that. There's so many questions. We're going to get into that. Uh, this is a great one. Uh, John in Utah. Utah's always got weird stories. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John, what's up, buddy? Not a whole lot. I'm, uh, I'm on a road trip on the middle of fucking nowhere in Utah, but I'm actually from uh, hometown of Danny Stoes, Aurora, Colorado. Hey, A-Town. Where'd you grow Where high school did you go to? Uh, so I went to Overland. Yeah. Creek, which was a horrible mistake. Nice. Are you I, currently surfing on the roof of an 18-wheeler going down the highway? Hell yeah, he is. So that's the... <laughs> Is there, just riding the whip, you know. Can, we, can you roll the window off? <laughs> I feel like yeah. it's so windy. Um... Yeah, I delivered oh, pizzas. Sorry. I delivered pizzas at Pudge Brothers, which was by Overland and Utah Pool. Was, uh, oh yeah, that place is the jam. That's actually the original uh, garlic sauce that rips your insides out. I think Papa John's copied it. Is that true that they ripped it off from Pudge Brothers? I don't know, but I was getting that shit since I was six years old. Yeah, hell yeah. Shit's good. Pudge Brothers. But anyway, pizza we're having this uh, family reunion in Aurora at my aunt's house. And- like his cousin, my mom, <laughs> oh, who shit. was already like the family pariah because he was a known swinger. And uh, I had no idea about any of this at the time because I was like seven. Uh, but um, in the past, he had like made an inappropriate comment to my mom. And so he was just like the black sheep of the family. Wait, who years. is he? And who is he related to? Today, he's like He's like a cousin of my mom's. Okay, he's a swinger and everybody hates him. Yeah, basically. Just kind of weirded it out by him, you know, for good reason, I understand. But uh, he brings his son, who we hadn't seen in years and years, and his son's like maybe 17 at the time. And uh, he last time we had seen him, he was a little kid, relatively normal. And now he's got like four-foot-long bleach blonde dreadlocks and tattoos all over him. And, kind of, you know, a little bit of a shock right off the bat. We're like, oh, this is his kid. Hey. And his dad's getting double teamed by fucking super tan <laughs> milfs. Yeah, he goes, sorry, while well, I'm getting, while well, I'm just feeding them my dick, my son's uh, growing out Matrix fucking just dread. Swinger, just, I, I've just seen swinger shit before, yeah. so it's like. He's all overly tan top, with a gold necklace. Overly tan, has gold necklace, wearing like Speedos unnecessarily. Oh, but he also wears like a, he's, he's got an unbuttoned Tommy Bahama shirt that shows his shaved chest. Yeah. And he goes, Oh, that's just my boy. Don't worry. He dresses uh, uniquely. Yeah, if you walked in and saw your dad in an orgy, you'd probably want to fucking hide it with some dreads and tattoos. Yeah. Is that your dad? Who even knows? <laughs> he goes, He goes. yeah, that's a shower curtain, and they're all covered in baby oil fucking on it. Would you want to go play my Genesis? <laughs> Wait, but what did you say he looked like? It's all it's all of that, but just the San Francisco version. So oh, he's so he's like, like crunchy. Uh, he came back super crunchy from San Francisco. That happens. People that move to San Fran that aren't from there, they'll go like... It used to happen in the 90s and the early 2000s. When was this? Hippie dip? They go like San Francisco, which is like almost Union Square heroin addict, like New York. And swingers? No, the swinger was the dad. He's saying the son went crunchy. Oh, the son. Oh, okay. I got you. Well, yeah. Well, so anyway, his... Uh, his his son, who's already looking like kind of a weirdo, 
he uh, he he had this girlfriend, and he just wouldn't shut the fuck up about her. He's like, oh yeah, my girlfriend loves this. Oh yeah, you should see my girlfriend. Blah blah blah. And we're all just weirded out by it. It's like, yeah, whatever. He's got a girlfriend for the first fucking time in his life. It doesn't matter. And at one point, we're like, uh, my aunt had just had a baby. So we've got, like, this six-month-old baby, and he's holding her. And he's, like, rubbing her stomach, and he's like, Noah, come here. And I'm, like, a small child. And he's like, feel the stomach. And I'm like, all right, baby's stomach. And I rub the stomach, and he's like, that's what my girlfriend's stomach feels like. And the whole family hears it, and I'm just like, Okay, cool. And the whole room just deflates. They're like, ugh, God, is this weirdo gene that your dad has just genetic? It just went downhill real quick. So wait, he's, was just, he was just saying that your his girlfriend's stomach's smooth like a baby's? Yeah, but he did it in a real creepy, like, oh, pedophile That is creepy. Like, get over here. Like, well, to make you even get out of a chair yeah, to yeah, come he goes, feel. He goes, put down your Coke. Come here. I mean, if you just broke those words down, like, hey, man, come here and feel this baby. <laughs> like, that's not going to read good being yelled across a barbecue well, anywhere. I, I bet this guy's got a great cousin name. What was his name? Uh, Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You go, Ethan, what? I'm talking to Mima. And he goes, e- he goes, no, come here. <laughs> Ethan, I can't. He goes, no, come here. Feel this baby's stomach. <laughs> Just like my girlfriend's. Yeah, you love it. Yeah, you love uh, it. Uh, I, picture. Meanwhile, his dad's back there getting his dick sucked behind a car in the garage going, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> it. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's it. Fuck yeah. Uh, what is this? Uh, Corey Christine said, my uncle uh, my uncle ended up marrying a woman he found sleeping in a tent behind his garage. <laughs> Aunt Whiskey Rose is a riot at parties. Well, I mean, we got to actually talk to them and confirm that if that's, that's a real thing. That's not fucking real. That's not real. That can't be real. Uh, but no, I mean, that is what Noah's yeah, just, it's everybody's earth I sleep where I want. He's like, I'm saying, come get yourself warm inside. <laughs> I'm saying I love your free spirit. I, I'm, attracted to, I'm, I'm attracted to your whimsy. <laughs> What's the last time you had cooked meat? <laughs> you know, a woman sleeping in your backyard? Uh, Christ, I can't see out here like this. Come on, come on. Get inside the house. <laughs> Go on and get yourself cleaned up. Let's have a warm meal. <laughs> and you know what? She just... Ended up being a very interesting person. Yeah, well, she's got a lot to say, and I respect that about her. <laughs> yeah, that's weird to have a weird cousin that shows up and becomes a pedophile, but it's also great to have an uncle that's a swinger. That's, just, that's the funniest part. <laughs> well, to just me. be, here's the thing, because if you're it's a like swing, your whole family knows. That's what's weird. Like, yeah. a, anyone in this room could be swingers. Technically, if, if you, you it's, I think the idea is you go off to a world of doing that. You, you go to, well, I guess not, because it's like a radio thing, but I mean, like, in the world, a lot of people listening to this, you probably work with someone who's into some shit like that or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, good for them. To, to go to family reunions and that be the thing that I, precedes you is like, oh, oh great, it's old, <laughs> it's Uncle, it's whole Uncle jo- Swinger Johnny. But you know what? And he just is? comes over, his mustache and like looking at everybody. He's like, he's like, hey, anybody here want to party after the party? But that real, you know what that really is? Those are like the swingers that make it their identity. Like, there's people yeah. who are like corporate lawyers and they're like, hey, my, you know, sometimes uh, my wife likes to get her pussy ate while she. Uh, uh, it blows me. And you're like, okay. And then there's like one guy who shows up and he's like, ooh, we went down to Erotica. Down in Reno. Wow. And I watched, there are levels, dude. <laughs> there are such I watched, levels. I watched my girlfriend with her, with her shit tits and her tan leather skin just get pounded dude, out. Me and Christine get asked a question like that. Like, I get asked, like, it's like, are you guys in like fet life? I had to be like, what is, I don't know what that is. Like, fetish stuff, like, dude, furries, chains and tie and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, Nah, man, it's pretty much just fucking, <laughs> like, you know, pussy eating, yeah. s- pussy smashing, Munch, uh, munching, uh, fucking, my banging. Little ass is so know. wet, waiting for you. Whoa, yeah. Jesus! Well, that's Christine. Yeah. She leads with that line. That does. That I'll be honest hey. with you. That does cast it. It casts a, a shallow net. But uh, but whatever you catch is in. He goes. You want to bring that? You want to bring that hog to Vermont? <laughs> Bonapalooza. <laughs> it's all in a, it's in a holiday in by the airport. And there's renting out a banquet room. Oh my god. They're just gonna put fold out chairs almost puke burped on this mic. Oh my god. I just gotta know a 
hey Tom where are you coming from he goes oh yeah the, the Ramada by the airport I just did an anonymous it was a hot wife GB yeah GB gangbang hot wife gangbang anyways did uh, aunt, a bunch of guys. aunt Marcella bring her uh, mashed potatoes <laughs> like, that it precedes you at your family reunion is the funniest fucking thing that in the is world. the best part it's coming he goes oh fuck is Larry coming he Jesus goes, Christ he's gonna fucking it? tell us a story he goes, I'll tell you what he purposely doesn't wash his hands from the night before he wants us all to smell what happened oh my god can you stop coming to the reunion smell like sex for one year. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aunt Rita. What can I do, huh? It's a, it's a oh, tough life. Am sorry. I right? I was, I was with a real juicy girl. <laughs> <before I came here. laughs> just a, he's just saying shit to creep everyone out. He comes in and he goes, ah, there he is. There's little Noah. He goes, sorry, I was just at a squirter's house and it wasn't a wasn't a water fight. All right, <laughs> we're having fun. Did mom make her uh, macaroni and cheese this year? He goes, what happened? Did somebody splash a puddle up at you? Like a little kid asked that. He goes, you could say that, kid. <laughs> I went, when you're a little older, I'll explain that one to he you. He goes, your Aunt Donna's a reservoir. I went swimming. <laughs> Uh, you probably wouldn't believe it, kid, but everyone here I'm not blood related to in here, <laughs> I've, I've at least made out with. I've been with. Uh, yeah. I've he goes, been. I have had my fair share of intimates <laughs> with, let this, me, with this gathering. Don't let, these, don't let these squares fool you. Come Christmas time. They get a little loose in the <laughs> hey, Everybody wants to judge Uncle Larry, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> I see a couple people over there. Yeah, I'm looking on point at you, Steven. I've seen Steven at the parties. Yeah. He gets down. He wears a horse collar. <laughs> he knows what He gets about. down. He can settle the score. <laughs> uh, Let's just say the man's not uncomfortable in leather. That's at, all I'll say. At Bill alone. Borman tweeted, an old family friend had a swastika tattooed under his eye, showed up a year later. It was BP for Brown Pride, and it's now an Elvis TCB lightning bolt. He... It really every couple years drastically changed life ideas goes, like, I'm his entire now. life ideals yeah he goes I'm really into Nazis now I'm into Elvis now I mean, I'm back in the Nazis I mean swastika to brown pro- what information did he get what is that what's the T what's the TCB He's taking care of business in a flash oh wow um, oh, really? that's a real yeah I knew that Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that's a real thing. Take care of business. Taking care of business in a flash? That looks like a gang. That looks like a hate group. Sorry. What a change of fucking... I mean, hate group to brown... Pro- did he get... Like, is it? That's got to be the funniest. That's the dangers of a 23... 23- 23 me report or the you know yeah. the ancestry.com you go, oh, it's like you have Chicano. a swastika on your face then you find out you're you're 30 some percent because i'm guatemalan 30 something percent south american he goes oh god damn it i'm guatemalan he's like oh shit this swastika looks stupid golly i'll tell you what that should be a fun drawing test if you could show your work on how without the pen ever leaving the paper how can you make a swastika turn into a BP and then turn into a <laughs> taking care of business? <laughs> and turn into a, t- a TCB. Shut up your letter is BP for Brown Pride. It's now an Elvis. I mean, d- but your pen phases. can't come off the paper. You can't move your hand. Yeah, those are great. Like, um, you really forget that everyone's families. Like all these people that we make fun of sometimes belong to families. It's just finding out like people in the families that are normal. Like Corey's Angels have a family. And like oh, yeah. one of them shows up, and they're like, "I'm in Corey Feldman's rock group." And you're like, "One of his, one of their family members might listen to this." And they're like, oh, "I got to talk to you." She goes, "This is bonkers." <laughs> yeah. He goes, "This girl's involved in some real crazy." I know she's here right now, fucking sharing a nice pig roast with us. But I'm telling you, this shit is batshit. <laughs> I'm talking dentist medicine. Fuck <laughs> I'm talking keyboards. Three hour shows. You just if you're a bonfire fan and your I family mean, members, fucking uh, nutty. I know. I see. She's. I right, will talk. I'll tell, tell you after. <laughs> Wait, just come outside with me. Come, come outside with me. Come smoke with me. Come smoke with yeah, me. Yeah, come smoke with me. I got to tell you, this fucking chick is involved in some pretty dicey yeah. shit. These I'll bet you them. under that jacket, there is fucking wings. I'm yeah. telling you, she's always have to wear them. And always in lingerie. And they go, how the hell do you know this? She goes, I, you know how the long drives to work? I found this fucking <laughs> stupid radio show on Comedy Central Radio. Because they're idiots, but they bring up a the, good point. They dove into Corey Velvet, and it turns out Courtney fucking is in the band. <laughs> she's like his angel. <laughs> um, we don't have to take the call. Kevin in Vancouver uh, sends the story. Uh, cousin was drunk, passed out, and shit himself in front of the entire family. I bet that's common. I bet that's oh, common. more so than uh, more so than the Uncle Swinger and his pedophile uh, fucking dreadlocked. <laughs> yeah, and I love that that was in Aurora. Oh yeah, but, but fucking 
Yeah, his cousin was drunk, passed out, shit himself in front of the family. I, I just know that's like well, people shitting themselves drunk is not crazy uncommon. No, it's also right. like when you when you have a family of alcoholics, you, you kind of get used to certain shit. Puke, <laughs> yeah, puke. People saying crazy shit, pissing yeah, pants, pissing pants. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, pissing your pants. Uh, yeah, I mean, being so drunk that you just piss your pants? Like, like you can't control yeah, I'm it? A, I'm a happy Have you done it? <laughs> <laughs> you ever done a drunk piss your pants? Uh, there was one night I woke up with a uh, hefty Samoan woman. Uh-huh. And I don't know if I peed the bed, but one of us did. <laughs> you might have slept in Samoan piss. Yeah. We call that an island. <laughs> That's an island greeting. She called, she called me uh, she called me Howley she called me Howley and pissed on my fucking uh, hips yeah walk a hockey hickey yeah she goes she goes welcome to the main island <laughs> yeah no she we woke up it was in college and we woke up was, and, I uh, think she was a Tongan <laughs> <laughs> yeah um she wore tape around her ankles and was barefoot. Like, yeah, yeah. She wore clam diggers and taped her wrists and ankles. She was doing some kind of weird kick flips on the Did beach. You date one of the wild Samoans? Um, yeah, haiku. haiku. It was haiku. Yeah. I didn't know you were familiar with the I show. I had to take some open hands and chest slaps. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I woke up and I didn't know if I pissed the bed or if she did. And then we just put a blanket under her and went back to sleep because we were so drunk. And then I went and dry heaved in my friend's rock backyard. Because yeah. it's like Arizona and it was like 98 degrees out and you're just like, and I was just talking to him and he has his door open and I was smoking a cigarette in the backyard and then occasionally I just go, Hah! I was going to say, it was, uh, it was like, yeah. <laughs> and it was like, dude, I swear to God, this was 2004 because it was right when Facebook came out and he was like, I'm on this thing called Facebook and I was in the backyard and I go, can you look her up? Yeah. He, like, <laughs> he goes, oh, we found pictures from the bar. I was like when they started po like posting bar pictures on MySpace because MySpace was out, and he's like, I found a picture, and it was like me and I was wearing a Jack Daniels T-shirt, and I was like, <laughs> blotto, just talking to her, like, <sighs> and I was like, yeah, well, that led to me one of us pissing the bed. But it was it was so hot and it was so hungover. I just remember being in his backyard, and you know when when you're hungover, all you want to do is smoke a cigarette, and then you smoke a cigarette, and you're like, that was the worst idea ever. Now I feel fucking even worse. Right. And then you and it was the dry heaving. Oh. <sighs> And I go like this. We be mid conversation. I go, hold on, hold on, dude. Let me hold on. I think it's coming up. Yeah. Oh, you did? Is he still playing with us, Black Lou? Is he gonna call in? Who? Who? Roman P. Never heard of him. You never heard oh, of Roman P. Oh, he ghosted us, huh? He keeps playing games. I don't play games. Quit playing games with my heart. Um, let's take another one of these calls here. Uh, yeah. I'll let you pick it, Dan. I can't see anything. You I, I, I say I'll, I'll tell you what's going on here. Fine! We have another, uh, it was an old Michael turns into Michelle. Okay. Uh, that's a good one. Yep. Uh, shit himself in front of the entire family, we already said. Right, yep. Uh, cousin went to California to start a porn career. Yeah, do that. Now I'm in. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, there's other choices here. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, cousin was in <laughs> the five heartbeats. I'm not sure what that's, that seems... Look up to make sense heartbeats. to me. No, I know what that is. It's the band from that movie, but that's it's a movie. I don't. I don't it's not. It's a fake. It's a movie about a fake thing. There was no five heartbeats. I don't think. Um, or my grandfather's dating a belly dancer, almost forty years younger than him. That's oh, a pretty good one too. And yeah, let's do Black Lou's pumping I, his head. Let's that do that one. one. I'm gonna uh, go Sarah people. in Oklahoma, you're on the bonfire. Hi, Sarah. Hi. 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 <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> your grandfather. I would have let, let that go for a few minutes. Right. I'm guessing Sarah's a hot girl because she really had that, like, impress me confidence. <laughs> <laughs> she started the conversation. She goes, Now you win me over. I was like, you, But you're calling our radio show. She's like, You got to win me over. Oh, my gosh. She goes, I mean. So your grandfather's dating a belly dancer? Yes. He's actually a little bit famous. He's been in some movies. What's your grandfather's name? His name is Saginaw Grant. Grant Saginaw? Saginaw Grant. Saginaw. Saginaw is his first name? Yeah. He sounds like a World a War... bad motherfucker. He sounds like a World War One general. Saginaw? He goes, oh. he took the beaches in France. Hell he yeah. Goes, oh, hell yeah, he did. Saginaw Grant? He bites <laughs> the tips off of his fucking cigars. He goes, and he goes like this. I'm sorry you pussies can't handle the fact that I'm dating a beautiful woman. Oh. Oh, he's a crazy... Uh, uh, <laughs> Saginaw Grant. 
Oh, look at that. Native American fella. Uh huh. Got it. Oh yeah, this is from Oklahoma. That's great. Uh, does he use does he use old tribal wisdom to convince you guys it's cool he's fucking a forty year a girl forty years younger? He goes, for when I take a young squaw, I must have one tender enough to love me in the ways of modern, while showing her the wisdom of the old. Oh, guys, she's just built like a brick shit house. <laughs> he just comes out of it. You know what? She tells the best stories. Oh man, she's and so she really can make me laugh. Humor like the hyena laughs at the moon. She has the wisdom of an eagle and the stories of a guy that you want to hang out with for a long time. Guys, I'm just... She's got rocking tits. <laughs> just like, just like the I mean, real grade A floppers. I mean, these things are poignant. <laughs> these things never are late. I mean, she goes down a flight of stairs. They got something to say. She has an ass like an $80 pizza. <laughs> it's big but thick. Uh, how, did you, how did you find out that he was dating a belly dancer? Was it at a barbecue? No, it wasn't any kind of reunion. It was through Facebook. Oh, wow. You, f- you found out your, your grandpa was dating a young, hot girl via the internet? Yeah. Well, how old is he? Uh, late 70s, I believe. He's 81, uh, according to uh, The Sun. That's what Jacob said. He yeah. looked at The Sun for the answer. Also, you should brush up on that so you can get cut out of the will. Yeah. He always got another number. <laughs> He's 81, so for, so she's in, her, she's in her early 40s? Yeah, I think so. She just, she's really pretty, and she's a belly dancer in L.A., Oh, is, oh. This, is this her? Is she dark hair? <laughs> yeah. Good for him. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that a... Yeah. Yep. There she is. Good for him. Does your family... Is your family with... Uh, like, are they against this? Do they think she's too young? Oh, no. Nobody really says anything about it. I don't think anybody, like, thinks it's wrong or anything. It's just something we don't really talk about. Does she try to act like, you know, is she like, well, you know, me and your grandpa were thinking that maybe you need to take some summer classes. Does she try to grandma you? No, no. Huh? Do you do you think it's uh, just emotional or do you think that uh, he's giving her the totem pole? <laughs> There's a connection. Okay. Would you say it's uh would you say it's her bow or his arrows? <laughs> no, that's gotta be a weird thing forty years younger because you you know your grandpa's fucking. You know that's why you know? That's gotta be a weird thing. Like my grandma's ninety. If she was dating some like a uh, French seventy you know, French fifty year old man, I'd be like great. I'd be like, What are you doing, Anna? She goes, Jacques cares about me. Oh, he's just holding her ankles and all she sees as she looks up is his fucking his swoop necked horizontal black and white striped shirt. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> you are a beautiful flower up here on this lake amongst this trash. Why have you not been mine sooner? <laughs> I go, Nana, I just do not like you banging this dude. She goes, Jean-Pierre cares about me, Dan, and he doesn't live across the goddamn country like you do. <laughs> he goes, don't worry, your Nana is in good hands. That is an Allstate commercial, but also for me. She's ripe like a berry that was left on the vine too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I almost... <sighs> What? I want to take one more because this one just popped up. It makes. We have the cousin went to Cali, started a porn career, oh, and we sure. have. Uh, I realized my uncle's uh, girl was a trans, and I had to spend the weekend with them. <laughs> like realizing that in the middle of a trip, and Black Lewis saying that's the call. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Zach, go ahead, my friend. You're on hey. the fire. Hey guys, what's up, dude? Um, yeah, basically, I was seven. It was actually Memorial Day weekend, and that's when we have our family reunion because I have a lot of family members that are military. And uh, basically, I get there, and nobody told me anything at all. Come to find out that my disconnected uncle that we don't see that much, and his girl is looking pretty big, like monstrous. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> her hands were like the size of my head. And uh, her name, I guess, was Bonnie, and uh, she changed it two times since. And... Uh, they didn't warn me at all, and basically, I just spent the entire reunion trying to figure it out, and next thing you know, they're like, my family's leaving, and they're leaving me there for the night. They're like, yeah, we're going to come pick you up next weekend. And uh, Next, next so, weekend, so that's a whole week. 
spent in a few days with them, and it was awful. <laughs> was it just, yeah, was it you trying to avoid even, like, looking the entire time just so you weren't, you know, you don't want to feel like you're being an yeah, asshole. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, uncomfortable if you stare, but you're so curious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I had, like, I went fishing with, uh, I guess, her, I guess. Uh, Did you? What was the conversation like? Were you like, so what was it like when you were a little boy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did your father take you fishing when you were a little child? <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, well, that's a good catch. Yeah. No, I think someone's going with my penis. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? <laughs> oh, no, 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 yeah, no. I mean, there's nothing crazy. <laughs> You're familiar, right? Oh, uh, it's an awkward thing just thinking w- that everything you say is making it weird. Yeah, you go all oh, weekend. Oh, I, but I, I didn't mean it like that. I, uh... No, I have a pretty like uh, a pretty unique taste for. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think uh, everything you say uh, is that a trans? Oh, are you mad? Are you, mad at me? <laughs> are you constantly? Are, how, are they still together? Yeah, they're still together. She's uh, I, I say she now. I'm so used to it, but uh. Yeah. <laughs> She uh, She's a never she. had the surgery or anything like that, but they're still together. And uh, the worst part is, so she never had the surgery, and while we had like a rancher, so it was a real small place. So I kept hearing her go to the bathroom, and basically, you know, I wasn't sounding right. Yeah. And uh, I still got left there without even being told that that was the situation. And uh, see, that's weird because it's like the other story from earlier in the show. The guy's parents were like, "Hey, listen, your aunt's gone through some changes, and this is your like, your dad's like driving." And she goes, "Hey, son," he goes. Shh, 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 shh. Let him figure it out. <laughs> yeah. She's wearing white stockings. I can see Uncle. I can see her balls. Yeah, and they go. What are you talking about? No. I, you're crazy, no. Zach. You're being insane. Oh, stop it! You're being insane, Zachary. Zachary, stop it! We come do on. Not. We are not discriminatory in this house, Zachary. Those are not nuts. Those are not her balls. Those are lady calls. <laughs> lady calls. <laughs> Zach, thanks for calling in. Uh, yeah, thanks. Love you guys. Dude, I almost just want to hear about Andrew's cousin going to Cali to start a porn career because I want to look up who the porn, if she became yeah. a porn star. All right. You're Andrew. Right. Let's do one more. One more for good measure. Oh, Real quick. Um, you have a cousin that ran off to become a porn star, you said. I do. And, you know, I'm sure like everybody when they're growing up or at least somebody in that room probably had like a hot older cousin that yeah. you're kind of weird about we've already talked yeah. about this oh, yeah. There's, we've all we all yeah, have one cousin say. where you go like oh shit she's hot if we were if we were family members that'd be a thing so you know i mean i was like 10 or 11 11 or 12 and my cousin was like 17 and you know she would like wear bikinis to the pool parties and she had a car and everything like that she has go hello what, always be like, hey. what's his name wait what's what's the caller's name uh, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, right, I'm going to take a dip. And he's like, oh. God, 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 God. Yeah, I mean, but like, it was, like, you know it's wrong, but like you're 11 or 12. So, yeah. it's like, you know, like you can't control anything. Yeah, you got a fucking live marmot in your pants. Straight you up. Know, so look. she ends up like, I grew up in like a pretty conservative, like Italian family. And she oh, just kind of like. She says she's Italian. Said, huh? She's like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to California. And like, she wanted to start an acting career. Yeah. That's how it always and starts. She said it. Yeah, she was wearing, she was wearing she was a strapless cool. green dress and then got into a pink Ferrari and yeah. left. She goes, I'm going to the valley. Mm. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go figure it out in the valley. <laughs> Later, losers. <laughs> Later, dickwads. <laughs> I know you're jerking off of me, Andrew. Yeah. Goes, Suck oh. my dust, Jersey. Yeah. I'm out of here. I'm a vivacious young Italian girl going to Hollywood. Yeah. Well, they get a little might be balls. Oh. <laughs> um, so, so she so, ran off. Yeah, and at first, like, you know, it was cool because, like, you know, my... My parents and stuff would be like, hey, your cousin's going to be on, on the show tonight. And it would just be like per diem extra work, like on Law and Order and like a game show here and there. Oh, it's like hilarious. She got welcome to the jungle. Dude, she really did. She got welcome to the jungle. She really did. Yeah, pretty much. So. Then, so wait, hold on. It starts playing right as she says it. She goes, Ah, uh, what are my plans for the future? I'm moving to California. <laughs> You just put this on. If anyone listens to this show and you have a cousin saying she's going to move to California to be an actress, just put this on and leave the room. She's going to get welcome to the jungle. You got to get welcome to the jungle. <laughs> just put it down and go, all right, you know what? I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to go have a smoke and I'll be right back. Just- anyone with dreams of California, you're going to get welcome to the jungle.
Um, so she ran out oh. there, and she was doing some light extra work. Right, and then just abruptly, after about, like, two years, I like we just stopped getting updates completely about she goes, what she was she up goes, to. What happened? She went dark. <laughs> <laughs> off the grid. She's off the grid. So like, she had, like, one decent, you know, she had, like, a speaking role on a show, and whatever. I don't know anything about the industry. I guess that's what you do, right? Like, extras, then you get a speaking role here and there. And me and Dango suck cock for money. Yeah. That's how it works with <laughs> yeah. billions, man. Once billions collapses, get ready to watch me in some fucking party uh, boy videos. Dan's going to get turned up. Yeah, I'm going to be like this. Hey, um, I don't have any money for the pizza. <laughs> um, So what's her porn name? Oh, all right. So here's the thing. So, so we have Thanksgiving every year, you know, again, big Italian family. And on the way, my mom tells my sister and I, and I was older now at this point, I was like probably like 17. She's like, look, you're not allowed to ask about her acting career. Oh, great. Oh, and, that's, and we're like, that's great. weird. Like, it's crazy. Why? Like, you know, it's my cousin. Like, what? I want to know what she's up to. And we get there and everybody's just like, you know, elephant in the room, like not talking about it, ignoring her. And she's like dropping hints, like, you know, so what have you been doing? Oh, well, like I've been getting lots of work. And finally she ends up getting in an argument with my uncle, who's again, super, super conservative. Like I don't get along with him. Great. Like he's kind of like a bigot, like not, not a cool guy. And, uh, out of nowhere, it's just like in the middle of dessert, he screams at her. Well, you know what? I didn't expect to raise a daughter that would end up sucking dick for a living. He's right. Yowzers. Those are facts. Those are facts. <laughs> I go like this. Oh, can I get another slice of cake and some popcorn? Keep going, <laughs> Uncle Marv. Uh, I think I will have that root beer, Aunt Viv. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Put a double espresso on. I'm going to need to stay up to hear this. So that's how you found. That's how you found out. That's how we felt. Well, every, pretty much everybody there, except for her immediate family, found out that way. Yeah, do you have a so name? Like my sister, What's your name? My mom, like, poor, my mom's a great woman. Like, she's very accepting. So she was like, well, as long as it makes her happy. And I'm just oh. thinking to myself, because I'm 17 at this point, so I watch porn. I'm like, there is no way this is making her happy. Like, maybe. And if so, good for her. But, like. What's her name? I know how that industry works a little bit. What's her name? Saginaw Grant. Name. I just got texted from my entire, from my sister and my mom just said, don't give her, don't, they, they right. don't want me to give her. Get her. the fuck out of here. Uh, yeah, your sister and your mom aren't trying to produce a good radio show here. Put him on hold and get the name. And we'll just look it up. We and won't then say we'll the look name. it up. We won't say yes, the name, but I want to see who it is. But actually, thank you very much for the call, Andrew. And you're going to, yes, please, we won't put it we out need there this anything, name. But we, we need this name to, to validate this story. Um, and we won't put it out there, but we need the name. And we will. Take, I want to see some tits. <laughs> we will take our uh, second break here. Uh, this is still the bonfire. It is the bonfire. Comedy Central oh. Radio, Sirius XM ninety five, Big Jokers and Dan Soder. I'm all coming at ya. I'm all emotional. Why are you so emotional? We it found some good news. Oh, why did we find out? We got we all oh, that. Jada Fire, in fact, was the black porn star hey. that was at the wedding. That's a big one, by the way. Bring her up again, because a very it, she's nice. Yeah. Bombums, super yeah. short, crazy titties. Uh, the guy that called in with his cousin, I went to go pee. Did we find him? His and, cousin, and he said, "What's going on? Yeah, what's the that's guy. her? Oh no, that's Jada. No, Fire. no, this is Jada Fire. Good for her. But get a picture. Get a good picture of her good up for her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at her TF and up there, run right to the one next to the one you picked. Look at th- oh yeah, look at that good old TF pick. <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna put one, that's pretty funny though. She shows up in a fucking a frowny face while a titty yeah. fuck. Why is it like somebody fucking Sharpie market her nips in? Yeah, those are very dark nips. Yeah. Um, oh, like, cheese. Merry Christmas. Cheese. Food <laughs> fight. Happy holidays <laughs> to all my friends and loved ones. Oh, look at the fuck shui. Oh, and what's going? You on? Did? Black Lou, not Nada on this cousin, right? Nada. Nada. We, so God we got, damn it. So we got lied to. That, that was a lie. That's a bummer. Damn, and also, damn, like, damn. you could kind of tell it was a lie because he was, he. was it was too, like, she moved to L.A., she was an actress, things got hard, she was doing porn. She was in Law and Order. Yeah. Things I've heard. The things <laughs> that, the, the natural process. No, I don't know. Hopefully we'll get to see it. Yeah, that was a good call. So let's hope it was all liar, liar, liar. legit shit. Um, I saw, I think this was World Star today, mm-hmm. a video. Number one of, a news source for the bonfire. Number one news source. It's a, 
a guy, a, a, a white dude, dressed as... Looks like a young Chris Jericho. As white and pleasantly traveling with his family as he could possibly be. Yeah. Or with a friend, maybe, to go somewhere to, like, I don't know, like, kill hookers in fucking Paraguay or something. Oh, bro. Or oh. just a dude's weekend in Panama City. Possibly that also. Whatever it's, it's him. It's him yeah. singing at, at the... Hey, what do you call that? Like the ticket encounter? Ticket, but not ticket. Uh, not ticket counter. encounter. The the counter at the actual uh, at your t- gate. Uh, check in at the podium. What do they always no, say? It's we the travel gate. too much it's to the, not. I know it's this. weird, but it's the gate. Yeah, uh, at the actual gate. It's yeah. the gate agent's uh, desk there. And this is a gate. B- and the seven. little and the little microphone that they, you know, speak into to tell you it's group time for group one. Uh, that's the only one I ever hear. I guess oh, I'm group sorry. Two. I'm a, I don't know. I was checking a diamond out group one. medallion. Oh no! So. Even from group I, eight, we know it, baby. I'm uh, more, yeah, I'm I, in I, before group I, at least yeah. bef- at least by group. I'm a, I'm a little group called Premium. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. Anyway, Southwest doesn't have anything like that. This is Southwest Airlines. They're at the gate for. Okay. And that is the ones that are just you know wildly annoying. And also get on the plane and go fucking scrap for a seat you want. It's, mm-hmm. it's a free for It's Hunger Games. Yeah, yeah. it's a uh, it's musical chairs. They said battle royale. They just set them free, <laughs> yeah. and you have to pay to be to on, on one of the earlier sections, or you're walking in to pick your middle seat. You're it's the flying to system. Detroit to Seattle nonstop. Battle royale. Do you want to sit or stand? Fight for your seat. <laughs> they really just set it free, and and how much I fly there, and you do the same thing. Dude. How much we fly. How sick of airports I am. I just want to go. I'm, I try so hard to get there. Yeah. Where I'm not sitting for any more than 10 minutes before I'm getting on the plane. There really is just kind of this attitude with the flight uh, crew every time I'm on a plane of like, hey, I do this. I know what to do. I'm going to do it. I'll see you there. Yeah. Well, also Don't worry can- about me. Yeah, so I, I almost want to just walk on planes and go, hey. Can I get like one water? It's one little tiny oh water bottle, God. and then I'm good. You yeah, really. I mean? Never come to me again. Never come to me again. Don't ask me for anything. I, can I just, don't really eat plain food ever. No, nope. like just. just I don't away. want a snack. I just want to sleep and try to get there. Leave me alone. Leave me and alone. Let me sleep. I, I, that's why I, I wear hats so I can put my hat over my face. Like, but the gate agents, more than the actual crew of the plane, the gate agents tend to have really shitty attitudes. And the ticket encounter people. I mean, I've seen, I bet there's great videos we could find of them being just wretched pieces of shit. But oh, this guy here, if I, I think I would have poo pooed the whole thing. I admit, there's a chance at the state of tired I am going yeah. to the airport. If this is a Sunday flight? If this was happening right here, mm-hmm. I'd be, like, I think I might say something. Let's play the video. So this is a guy. He has the microphone from the it doesn't work for gate Southwest. agents. He's nope. a he's a, a very white dude. Uh, he's like, he's already dead. All right, this is already making me mad. He he leaned into it, and it's just fucking... Dude. I just hate bubble up inside of me. This isn't even... We're not even seven seconds into <laughs> how much you're going to hate this, buddy. <laughs> I hate this. I wish you would have dropped an N-bomb. See everybody turn also, on Also, he's wearing a redskin shirt, which is great. He's <laughs> like... So, Dude. He's karaoke. I think I would snatch... Pause it. I think I would snatch the thing out of his hand. I mean, that's, that's plenty. Fuck face. We're good. We're like, good. Miss, yeah. can we board? Stop doing can this at me. we board? He's sitting there looking at me going, Long as she got to have her. And you're going, shut the fuck. Fuck I mean, up. I want to fucking slap the glasses off his stupid face. I mean, face. I want to fight his... I want to fight the people he's with. It's horrifically shitty. You Goddamn, Goddamn right, Jacob. Down that I'll support. Oh, he's also like doing body wiggles where you're like, stop it, stop it. Oh, stop it. Gets, well, you haven't seen his best dance move All yet. Right. Right. And these... By the way, we're only fucking 40. black uh, chicks are humoring him for some reason instead of instead of taunting him out of the building as they should. Where's the where are we in the world, man? We'll keep playing it. Look at this. These black dudes in the back. They're like, yeah, go for it, dude. Like, no, rob him. <laughs> Equilibrium, man. <laughs> I got another version. Oh, play this one. Uh, play that, that one. That one's crisp. Play this one. Yes. 
Okay. Because that's the one. I know this one. This is the one I saw when he goes down. Oh, oh boy. And the article, oh, some guy boy. started singing No Diggity on an airport terminal microphone, and I don't know if I like him or hate him for it. <laughs> I'll tell you my answer. Yeah, Clem, get in line. It's hate. <laughs> I'm telling yeah. Let me, let me tell you, it's a clean, a clear choice for me. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think it's sockless. Yeah. Oh, he's wearing, is this he wearing is the boat one. shoes? Turn it up. Oh, he's not wearing socks with his tennis shoes. God damn it, that angers me. Yeah. Just makes me so fucking mad. This son of a bitch. Some bitch. This bastard son of a bitch. It's only a minute long. Get through it, Dan. See if you can do it without throwing something to break the TV. Christine, uh, pause it. He's got fucking pleats in his shorts. Oh, dude, I hate this guy. Getting, I'm getting mad. Yeah, yeah. It's actually like it makes you feel like embarrassed. It's dad singing. I'm Go. embarrassed for everybody who's there. Just Everybody's a part of this. I'm embarrassed. To, I swore at some point in this video. I watched it as it, I, getting nervous as it edged towards the one minute and 14 seconds the video is. As there's only 14 seconds left, I'm like, where's the guy who's going to fucking like double kick this guy's face off? And he, now he's in the hospital story. And it's like, nope, victory. Oh, motherfucker. This Play, watch the things he does, Dan. This guy's making the Wright brothers turn over in there. <laughs> they go, we would have never invented flight if this fucking jackass would have been commandeering by the airport. Uh, yeah. Hey, Amelia Earhart, dig her up and rape her grave, why don't you, piece of shit? <laughs> this guy's just pissing on everyone that died in Dub Dub 1, 2, nah. If, you're, if your family member flew in the war, this guy's desecrating their graves. Oh, uh, shit. Oh my god, everything about this guy is just at this time of day. Wow, wow. Go, go play it, continue to play. I hate it. Wait, pause it again. No, I mean, just, can we get through it? It's no, hurting my pee hole. We can't because. It, is that. Are you being honest? It hurts my I pee swear hole. to you, something about my pee hole is hurting right it really, Is it because like, my dick's retracting I don't and know, it's like my, grabbing my, my underwear or something? My maybe? toes are curling too. Not in a good way, not in an up way, in a down way, in a bad way. <laughs> Uh, my toes are calling. Here's the thing. Here's what you're not considering in this situation. This guy uh, has this guy. way too much confidence. This guy probably calls everyone chief or pal. This is gate B7 he's at, right? You can yeah. see that behind him. He's at B7. Picture yourself out there. Everyone close your eyes. I'm going to time to now, kill this real You've quick. got a box cutter. Do you blow your load at the gate? <laughs> or do you wait when you're on the plane? Do you, bl- <laughs> do you wait? Do you wait to change the skyline of New York City? I swear to or do you God. just fucking take this bitch out in the, I, in the terminal? I swear to God, Mohammed, I'm going to kill this guy. You know, we've been planning this for over ten years. I know, but no diggity but, the but gate. The, if he does the Dre rap, I'm going this to is the problem. Him. This is what we are trying to change in America. <laughs> So uh, here's the thing. So this is gate. Black Lou's getting fired up. Yeah. You you got unpleasant. What's wrong? You got unpleasant white dude face. I was gonna make the point that this is great. No, oh, okay. <laughs> I want to. No, I'm dead serious. But I want to let Big J finish first. Well, you're. This is B seven. Yeah. Dan, this is. You can just put yourself here very easily. B five. You're going to no. Forget B five. You're going to B twenty seven mm-hmm. because and you're going there for the fourth time to check. If the plane has finally landed, yeah. because they keep giving you half hour incremental delays when they know it hasn't even taken off from where it's leaving, yeah. and you've gone out, and now you're out of cigarettes, yeah, and you and they don't have them at the airport, or they have the one outside, so you constantly have to leave security every time you want to smoke a cigarette and think you're going to come back for shit, and you're on the fucking, you're walking on the moving sidewalk because for some reason the moving sidewalks broke, and you go by and this fucking jack. Jack off. <laughs> this fucking freckle nuts jag off is yeah. fucking singing no diggity over the way. Th- and all the gate agents are the same fucking group of twats that have already told me goes, Sir, I'm only giving you the information they're giving me. Is she now goes, fucking look. raising the roof with this dork? She goes, she goes, Fuck this, him. Look at this look at this white boy doing the electric slide. Oh. <laughs> you know what? She got the hammer. I hate right, this now, guy. Well Black Lou thinks it's great. <laughs> And I want to know why Black Lou likes it. I just think it's great. It's friendly before you get on the plane. And I just want to point out, if you've seen any black movies recently, Tyler yeah. Perry, uh, any Tyler Perry movie or uh, Death at a Funeral, um, 
there's always that white guy that's dancing and funny yeah. and silly. So black women love those white guys. Uh-huh. Those white guys are he's in playing, style. He's playing a he's playing a soft spot. He's playing the old Tyler Tyler Perry soft spot. As long as he doesn't drop the n bomb, he's good. Yeah, she goes. Watch your watch your words, he's bud. Itching too. A lot uh, of wrinkly gash. All right, go back to the video. Yeah. <laughs> How do you dismount it? <laughs> they give it up for him like he backflipped because he did the I'm going down the stairs for these two fucking shithead ghetto TSA agents. In oh, his defense, in his defense, oh, Jay, Jay, Jay yeah. stop it. Go. In his defense, yeah. defend him, Dan. Defend him. That's the white guy backflip. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is the white guy backflip. I've been seeing this shit for years. That is, that's the parkour of white uh, people. Yeah, there's the fake going downstairs. Oh, let me check in the basement. <laughs> that is the fucking splits. Oh my god, his shoes. Dude, I you mean, know what? I just noticed the lady with the top bun eating, and she's probably going like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's just eating. Oh man, how did I never tell this airport story? He's yet? bullying these people. I haven't told. Let's watch the end of the video. Then I have an airport story that I can't believe I haven't told. Let's watch this. I hate, I hate this. This gives me douche chills. I hate the way he walks. He walks like a confident senior at a senior assembly. By the way, he fucking dorkily stepped on his own foot there. Go Good. back. But a Twist fucking idiot. I hope, he, I hope he rolls it and doesn't realize that there's bleeding inside and it gets gangrenous. Whoa, Jay. Not a... All right. Look, 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 fuck, yeah, that was him. That was him fucking up. All right, play through. Oh, That's not a dance step. <laughs> I hate it. I hate that he opened arm and he left the fucking. Mike dropped it. I hate him, and I hate his friend that's oh. supporting him. Dude, oh, those are guys. Those are those are guys that had drinks at the airport and thought that was so charming. And then they're like, and they're, and most of the people did find it charming, but there's us. There's Jay and I sitting in the corner going, this fucking tool. I would fucking, I would uncoil a paperclip and try to stab him with it. Like, ah! like close quarters. I would just do that. I would like, I would shiv him. Yeah. And I would, not to, not to kill him. I would yeah. just have, I want him to be like, ow, ow, what the fuck just happened? And, and, just, and just keep walking. And then you like, go, well, I don't know. Like, or you go, welcome to the world of AIDS. <laughs> and he's like, wait, what? <laughs> fucking pussy. Whoa. Well, Jacob. Jesus, Jacob. That seems like an aggressive move. I'm not going to call him a pussy. Dude, though. that really I is. Want, I just want to shiv the guy Whoa. with a, I want to shiv the guy. I'm going to go in the bathroom. I'm going to take some wet toilet paper, okay? Yeah. I'm going to wrap it around the base yeah. of an uncoiled thing. Then I'm going to let that dry for a while under the hand dryers. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to go out and I'm going to get some gum. Good. Yeah. I'm going to put that on side and I'm going to go hand dry that again. So it's nice and hard with some more toilet paper over that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wet it and it's going to become like a really sharp handle. And I'm going to go out there and I'm going to stab that guy. Good. With that paper clip. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait till he's in the yard. <laughs> I'm going to he's real comfortable. Maybe lifting weights, maybe playing some basketball. Put a thumb in his butt. I'm going to get a little sleepy and joker to like you know take out his boys <laughs> and not boy. look the sad, sad boy and I'm gonna get him and then right when he's under the basket I'm gonna push his head into the pole bro <laughs> he goes yo bro I like it I like it it's a good play that's a great play bro um, so I just what, like the crowd more than him there's 150 people it looks like I'm estimating that are just yeah. cheering him on were you saying he sells more tickets than I do Jacob what are you saying Jacob oh, I'll tell you how many people are sitting there with hatred I'll, in I'll tell you eyes. how many people are on it uh, probably if I had to guess 15 more people than the plane can hold that they're gonna keep mm-hmm. bartering with you and if you how much of a piece of shit should you feel like if you give if you let someone take the initial we'll give you a hundred delta bucks and a uh credits if you decide to go on a flight that's seven hours from now when if you hang in there dude you can be like give me two thousand dollars in delta yeah. bucks and i'll fucking walk I'll, bu- I'll book a whole other flight somewhere else do it <laughs> take this off my you thing look up like that, and i'll fucking yeah yo player do what's right yo delta do what's right do what's right delta when they get up you go they go, how about $100 for someone willing to get out their seat? Yeah, they sit on. up. Yeah, Don't you make a piece of shit, sit, dude. Sit back down. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? What do you do? I'm Dan. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Eric. What's that word? Eric, what are you doing? Wait. You got a wife? Yeah? Why should she marry you? <laughs> yeah? Because you're a smart guy? You're a smart guy? You take the $100 Delta dollars? Sit down. I'm Diamond. Damn it. I'm Diamond Dan. I'm Diamond Dan. <laughs> is it uh, Carlos, is it? Carlos. Uh, what are you in? 28B? Oy. Middle seat. All right, bud. Well, here's the deal. 
<laughs> you hold on tight. Hmm? You hold on real tight? <laughs> we can get you some Delta dollars. So uh, Shane Gillis and I went to go do Silium Springs in um, Siloam Springs in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And, and I flew to get there. You had to Home fly. of 15-year-old marriage. Damn right. We had to fly. Um, I flew LaGuardia to Atlanta to um, Arkansas. Mm-hmm. That's the flight. Yep. Shane did Philly to Atlanta over to Arkansas. So we're on the same flight to Arkansas. So we both get in at the same time. So we have flights coming in from New York and Philly, both to Atlanta. And I get to the gate first. And I'm sitting at the gate. And I'm like waiting. He's not there. And then Shane starts walking towards the gate. And I see him. And as I see him, I start booing him and giving him thumbs down. I go, boo, boo. And then I look directly in front of me. And a woman has a slice of pizza, and she's just staring at me, and she's like, no? And I go, oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking to my friend behind you. And she goes, oh, you sloppy slut. Oh, she goes, oh, my God. She she goes, I thought you were booing me eating a piece of pizza. I was like, oh, fuck. I'm so glad you said something, because the psychological damage would have been irreversible. And then you were like, I mean, it is the morning, though. I go, I mean, it's 10 in the morning. What's your name? (laughs) Diamond Dan. What's your name? (laughs) I mean, it's a little little early. This is Shane Gillis. He's got Peroni's. (laughs) He's going to help you out. He's got Peronis. Um, This guy, I believe, was probably celebrated. By the way, that guy guy told that story and has shared this video with all of his friends. And they're like, that is so Sean. Do you remember in college, he would just like grab the mic and start singing. He was that guy. And you're like, your friend's a fucking asshole. I think he's a fan of the bonfire. What are you doing? I'd argue... Aren't you embarrassed? Oh, what happened to people being embarrassed? This guy's going to make an appearance in um, Chicago Dicks. I think what should have happened here, and I mean this, yeah, he should have been tased. I think the guy <laughs> should have been tased by security. He's out of, ha- out of control what he's doing he's right there. He's side to the woods. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like the way you... Whoa, 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 I'm dropping the microphone. I'm dropping the microphone. Uh, I can't... I figure it's <laughs> over. He's side to the west side. It's a fat ride. Don't know the plot. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to Yeah. I'm going to swallow my own tongue. <laughs> Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's how you get one of those. <laughs> That's how you go get one of those. You want to take our last break and come back? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, let's do that. And then we have in studio the first couple of bonfire. We're going to get them on the mics. First camper couple. First camper couple. Uh, when we Sarah come McPants back. going MIA after dropping just a bombshell. You better get We didn't of- get the porn star name. And Sarah McPants that won't tell us about her cousin marrying a silly. <laughs> <laughs> McPants, you're going to have to call into the show tomorrow. This has been Blue Ball Tuesdays. It really has been. Blues Days. Yeah. Uh, Blues. Right here. She, she on the bonfire. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'll put it down. Put it down. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. When you couldn't afford David Bowie, you were always able to get peaches. Also That's peaches. Of- Fuck the band away, everybody. Right here on the Junks, WJNK. One of my favorite fun facts about that song is it's booted up in the junk. Um, Liz Lemon's ringtone in Thirty Rock. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> Just like the tune of it? Someone calls her phone and it's like, huh, what, huh, right. right. And she goes, oh, and it picks up right before it goes, sucking on my titties. <laughs> um, Made me fall in love as Liz, Liz Lemon and Elaine Bennis, my two dream girls. Yeah, Peaches is ridiculously terrible looking, but she... Uh, Ridiculously, ridiculously weird looking. But she does, she's like sexy in a gross way. Go back to that picture you are just on. Go back to that, go back to the, the one you are just on. Uh, fuck. There was a picture. God damn it. No, that's not what is in it. There, uh, Sorry. Go down. She looks like a Dragon Ball Z character in one of these pictures. That's, it's not this. I don't know where it is. Fuck. fuck right? Yeah, I see that. With, the, with like the side shape. No, it was, side the hair it was a specific picture. It was a... Fuck. I missed it. That's my bad. They can't do this! Mm-hmm. They did it. They just did it. I finally drawn the line. Mm-hmm. Like right there. Yeah, no. She looks... Uh, She's crazy looking, but she does. That one right there in the middle. Down. Down from the group. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just the headshot. Yeah. That looks, she looks like a Dragon Ball Z. She looks like Hedwig in the Angry Inch. Yeah. Um, 
she's yeah, she's very odd looking, but uh, she does like over the top pornographic stuff. I think in her videos, like she had like, a newer video where she's just it's her and a girl pissing the whole time. Uh. Piss the pain away, pop, piss, pop, pop, pain piss away. the pain away. That's a song about jellyfish bites. Yeah, pissing piss on pain my pain away, pissing on my piss wound pain. like you calling me what? pissing on my jellyfish thing all the time. I- <laughs> oh, dude, r- when Wayne, will I Wayne, learn? Wayne's buddy told me a crazy story. I went to go get my sweatshirt for my backpack, and Wayne's like, "Hey, pal, this guy's got a story. This guy got bit." On the cheek by a jellyfish, and then a Russian woman just pissed on his face. Yeah. He told me this at the barbecue. Did you know that story? Uh, no, I didn't know that story, but that's not a surprising story. Oh, pretty cool. From, from, yeah. <laughs> and then a woman pissed in my face. And then a Russian yeah, here's woman. Peach, yeah, Peach just does videos where she's just like raw out. Biting on Cooch people. lips and shit hanging out. Oh. Bush. Heavy muff. It's never... I mean, by the way... You want me to get through this whole video, you better, you're going to put full penetration and, and, and a girl that I knew from high school yeah. or something because Yikes. the music does not keep me involved even in this over Whoa. the top. Yeah. Yeah. You never seen a girl pull a feather out of another girl's pussy, Dan? I mean, that's a music video? That's on Feel YouTube? the music. Yes. I tell you what's going on. I, I don't know. Look into this, Christina. She looked this up. I think YouTube Red is, has nudity and shit. Word? I think it does. Cause I, I just looked, this is not the first thing I've seen since I got YouTube Red that had nudity in it. The other one we just kind of checked. I saw a, like a, a screen cap that was like a bunch of nudity in it. I was like, can you watch this now on YouTube? And you can. It's yeah. got to be exhausting to be friends with Peaches. You got to be like, all right, I got it. No, you know, I think I'd like her as a as a personality is because... I feel like she's doing the things I would do. It's like, hey, you get to make a music video. What do you want to do? It's like, should we have like girls peeing or something in it? And they'd be like, Jay, what the fuck's have to do with the song? Goes, I don't know, goes, people would like, you know, I think it's people finding artistic, I guess, or whatever. No, I don't people, shit. people, someone from the record label tries to shut you down, and then Peaches is at the head of the table, and she goes, let him finish. <laughs> We're pissing in the desert. I love it. I love it. Let's do it. Let's shoot it. I'll dress up all in red, red paint, Peaches. Fuck the paint away. Fuck the paint away. Um, we are so happy to have in studio today. Nicole, you look terrified for no yeah, reason why? at all. I'm These not we're friends. Um okay. we have uh Nicole and Captain D in the house, the first couple of the bonfire. Brought together through the bonfire. Absolutely. Yeah. Over the bonfire. And through and through the bonfire. Um, you guys, did you meet the first time at one of the holiday shows we did or the uh, live events? We met the first time at a Bennington event. Oh, mother. Well, but that's, there goes that whole no, fucking fucker. thing. No. Yeah, I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> but that was just when we were friends. Oh. The we got you spiced first up. First official couple. But really? Thank yes. you. Thank you. Luke, turn the music back on now. It's okay. <laughs> All right, we're back holiday right. show. Yeah. We're right back in the groove. At a holiday show, yeah. This holiday show. Was it a drunken like hookup, and then it turned, or were you guys like, "I'm digging you, you're digging me"? That's 100 percent what it was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's fucking awesome. Man. You, you can't say the alcohol didn't help it. You know? Did you? Of course. Yeah. Did you, you say it first? Did you go up to her and, and give her the the fucking rap, or did you throw it at him? You well, did. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I I, had, I got the confidence once I got kicked out of the bar and let back in. I was like, I got this. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. You got second life. You should have told it was uh, Lou's cousin's uh, delicious pudding. <laughs> that yeah. was the start of it. God sure. damn, crackle that was crumble. Good. Yeah. Crackle crumble was so damn good. <laughs> we shared a crackle crumble. We looked into each other's eyes. Crackle crumble. Um, that's really uh, fantastic. But yeah, you guys are long distance, which has we to be are. difficult. I know. It sucks. <laughs> he got uh, Captain D was, I think, outside smoking or went to the bathroom in Moon Tower when I was on stage, and I started oh, asking God, about that's a, a best story. I'm never living down. I was asking about a. Uh, I was like, what do you guys do when you're long distance? You guys do a lot of Skypester baiting, and poor Nicole was just frozen in place. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, why won't he be back here well, you, soon? You got, a, you got a premise set, though, because Ali Sadiq was doing the whole I hate white people speech. Oh, so, really? You know, rem- the whole act of yeah, this yeah, was just yeah. starting to pick, and I was like... Oh, oh I, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna- I was, this was uh, just this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was fucking very deal. stoned at What's Your Fucking Deal. It's yeah. one of my favorite... It, that's the Tim Dillon, Mark Norman. It was an amazing yeah. show. An amazing Great show. show. Great show. One of my favorite What's Your Fucking Deals of all time. Yeah, that was a really fun one. So yeah. I just snuck out to take a leak real quick, just to dip out since I knew she might get picked on, and then somebody grabbed me uh, and drug me outside. Stu? 
BFFF Stu, yeah. Stu got you. What, what Lou? He Sounds like Lou. me. Lou, Lou clocked out around 4.30 that afternoon. Yeah. Stu wanted to make out in a broom closet for a half hour, so on. what am I going to do not do that? Come here, I want to touch you. I just really cracked up because I, I got back in not knowing anything happened. I hear the place going nuts, and you were stepping off the stage, and before I even got to her, I got scolded by Daddy Big J. <laughs> I was talking all about oh, shit. I was like, yeah, I was like, where the hell were you at? Poor Nicole to answer all those questions. Well, uh, oh, thank you. Was it awkward answers or were oh, they? It was just nervous energy. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was like, "Are you guys masturbating on Facetime?" Yeah, and she was like, "I don't know what to say." Tim, <laughs> Dylan, please take the mic away. I just kept looking at him like, "Please, Tim, walk away." <laughs> Tim goes, "That is a good question. Though. <laughs> I do want to know." I think FaceTime masturbating is so like, terrible. It's just like it's terrible. It's but like you're not going to sync up. Well, it's because you have to look at yourself too yeah, too much. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just looking at myself, and then you see your face go like. Oh, I've done it. With, I've done it with. I've done it with my thumb. Uh, I don't over, see my face. I've held my phone by the top and put my thumb over the camera, and then I'm like, oh yeah, she can't see me now. She's like, stop. I go, I just. I don't want to watch myself. And she goes, put your thumb over you. And it was like, this is ridiculous. The best is when you come, though, and you're like, <sighs> so, uh, I got to jam out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. That's my God, because it really looks like, yeah. it, like you couldn't be possibly doing anything. You're like, anyway, now I'm in a rush. I have to hang up the phone right now. Just roll off your bed. Yeah. <laughs> And then come around, crawl up and hit the button. Anywho, ah, this has been a blast. Well, did you see the pop shot? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're getting ready to come and you got to hit the, uh, what's the button? Like the reverse flip yeah. screen. You go, oh, those are my feet. Those are my feet. Oh, it's coming. It's oh, coming, oh. babe. It's coming. <laughs> we're there. We're there. We're there. Oh, hang on. There. Oh, there. it's not registered. Hang on. I'm there. Turn, I'm, I'm going to turn the camera around. Is it there? Can you see it? I can't see. My phone, phone. I'm working blind here. It just comes back and it's your balls. <laughs> you, have it, you have it down. You're like, ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah. <laughs> I'm happy, camper. <laughs> oh, man. But you guys can see each other a decent amount, it seems like. Yeah, we've been trying to go back and forth like once a month. Yeah. And what are you that's, gonna do? that's, that's yeah. great. Trust me. As far as long distance, once a month is what you need to do. Yeah, anything longer. When, the ex -girl, when yeah. my ex-girlfriend yeah. moved to L.A. A retired baseball player will start fucking Nicole, and then what's going to happen? You guys are going to be lost. Do you know what's so funny about that? Two days, I have a sports. I have a tearaway calendar on my desk. Uh-huh. And it's got athletes' birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> and yesterday was Frank Thomas's birthday. <laughs> the big hurt. And the big hurt. And he's, I, also, he's in a commercial now or something. I can't not he's see. She's really inspired him. Dude, that's so funny. I mean, she doesn't work there anymore. It's probably her uh, It's probably her great stories and hilarious jokes. <laughs> that wasn't the one that said great stories and hilarious jokes. I assume at some point you did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, to somebody at some point, you did say that. I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we weren't close enough when you first started dating her yeah. for us to be that like... That was 2013. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> we were close, but we just weren't close enough for me to say some stupid shit like that, like I did the second time. Uh, Nicole, yeah. if you were to... If, let's say this hypothetic Skypester baiting is happening here. Skypester bait? Okay. Do you prefer... Do you want to see Captain D's face making all lip quivery things, or would oh, yeah. you rather just see him oh, yeah. just fucking beating the wad? Uh, beating the, a dick. The latter. Yeah. Beating the wall. Uh, I never know what the latter means. <laughs> Which means one the, is that? It means first the, one or, <laughs> to the first one or the last Second. one? It means the latter. What's the former? Former is the first one. You uh, got okay. this, dude. We're learning. You know what? I just learned what's affect and effect. I just learned the difference between those two. I still have Grammar to look day. that up. Affect means emotional. It means it has any sort of emotional tie to it with the A in the front. The E means it's to an effect. Oh, it, an effect. it happens. An effect. Yeah, it had a, it a had thing an effect. Happens. A thing happened. Whereas yes. an affect is something that affected your emotions. Affect. A affect. See? A if you say affect, it really affected me. Would be that'll be a weird way to say it. You know, I have laser eyes now. Mm -hmm. I'm at the point of the healing. You know how words are spelled. <laughs> I don't know how words work. <laughs> All I want to do is dig this knuckle from my thumb into my eye and do that fucking. You know yeah. that real. I can't. It'll fuck my shit up. And I just have to keep remembering that. And I almost just went to do it. Went really? To be like, and I was like, oh, th that would have been a real weird last seven minutes of the bonfire. That'd like, be the best, my eye! Best of segment, Dan gets blinded. <laughs> oh, and then I'm just eye patch Dan. I go, welcome back to the bonfire. Depth you guys shit. missed a lot. Yeah, welcome to the... <laughs> it's Dan. I'm on the boneyard now. They moved me. <laughs> so you're saying you'd prefer to see hand and pecker over face. I guess the combination of both. 
a flip back and forth. Well, you're yeah. a bottom well, now chip. You're get, now, you're get, now you're getting uh, technology involved again. Where you gotta be like, yeah, he, goes, he goes, are you loving it? Am I stroking good? <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> the walkie-talkie? How, how good does it feel? And then... Do what's even better is though, is it, or, do, or if you're really close to your dick to make that's what I would do to I'll make do it look it. big. So then when I switch back to face though, it's, it's got to be the worst shot. Like traveling up my other neck goes, "Are you enjoying what you're seeing down there?" <laughs> but also, what you how does do. everything look? You know, on the up and up, I'm about to pop. You know what you have to do is you have to do the slow Ken Burns pan. You slowly bring it into your dick. Where you go? It was the good times. It was bad times. <laughs> what? The American what is this? What, what is this video doing? we're watching, Christine? Is this a dude jerking it? Yeah. Is this just your go-to? <laughs> On FaceTime. This guy looks like friend. this guy looks like my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Cody! Cody! <laughs> Open the door, dude! You're blocking in my grand am! You're blocking in my grand am, dude! Dude, dude I s- I'll be out in a minute, I said! Dude, if you're putting Sorry li- about him, guys. If you're putting <laughs> lipstick on and you're jerking off. What's he doing? It's smelling he salt. He's loosening up his butthole. Why do we like this guy? What is huh? he? Is that smelling salt? Why do I like him? I'll be honest with you. You know what? Aside from all this, he does a lot of charity work, Lou. <laughs> but also, what is he doing? What was that? Something sexy. Well, I don't, why talking? are we asking everybody except Christine who brought it up? He's talking. What is this? Bring up the volume. I can't call it. Bring up the volume. <laughs> the volume's up. He's a quiet church. No, he's church. talking. You need to put a better show. You need to uh, lower the volume on that because I'm making a video here. Man, somebody's recording him making this I thought video. Th- dude, that's, that's so funny. Yeah. yeah, I thought his Netflix yeah. special would have stopped John Mulaney from doing stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> you have a jack off and your friends recording you. It's like, what are you doing? I'm already jerking off. How are you recording? <laughs> dude, it's so funny. He's like, yeah, yeah. What's up? Dude, this is so funny. <laughs> Jump ahead, Christine. No, There's no, no, don't. No, no. They're yelling at each other. It's like bad video. I don't think the warranty covers come. <laughs> so he's on FaceTime with a buddy. He's recording himself on FaceTime with a buddy. Christine, for the love of fucking God, you look this up. You haven't answered one question I've asked you. It, it's just a straight friend jerks <laughs> off while FaceTiming his girlfriend. Christine, what is this? Christine, what's going on here? Christine, goes, what made you look this up? Christine, sh- you're, just going, you're just going... She goes, I'm right in the <laughs> Yeah, what are you? She goes, I'm right what is there a secret? She goes, no. Let us in. She goes, what if I told you something better? It's soda. <laughs> <laughs> was, I go, how do I know this? Is, this is from my phone. <laughs> and it's soda. <laughs> you know, and you hear Vecchione's voice. He goes, did you fill the water filter? <laughs> shut up, dude. I'm about to pop. Did you use my Did you use my ninja bullet? <laughs> I go, dude, shut up, man. Get out of here, man. I'm you fucking know, doing something. You know, it's early. Hold on. I'm on the phone. What, are you do- what am I doing? I'm hogging off, dude. You know that. <laughs> it's my time. I'm knees up, pants down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm knees up. Knees down, pants down. I'm pulling from between the wrong direction. Dude, Julia's in Cincy. I got to come for her before her <laughs> meeting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's the on schedule? Yeah. He goes, all right, hey, listen, I'm going to run upstairs. I'm going to go beat off with you real quick, and then I'll get back to work. <laughs> and I'll get back to work. Okay. I know you got a fight in the morning. That's totally cool. He goes, hey, wigging it, wagging it, wigging it, wagging it. I'll be honest with you. He's a grower, though. I'll give this kid something, man. That dick's gotten more and more impressive, Jacob. I'll tell you, though, it's, it's taken a long time for this band to develop. I'm Jacob, what do you think? Decent piece in this kid? I can't really see from here because I'm distracted by the giant. <laughs> right. Well, that's just I mean, fake news right there. <laughs> that's fake news. Fake news. That's just fake news. I he won't goes, be I'm concentrating. I mean, it really does look like my little brother. Yeah, really. It's almost, distracting. It's disturbing. Yeah, Christine, right. how's hey, it end? Yeah. What are you doing? Man? Yeah. I go, hey, bud. Hey, Wait. dude. Hey, dude. Mom wants to know if you want to. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on? Mitch, what are you doing downstairs with Cody? Wait, back up. Did he pop off on his own on his, on his iPad? Is he fingering his own butthole while he's doing this? I don't no. Know. I'm so glad there's a mom doing my way. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, buddy. He looks like he's like no, he looks no, like he's stressed no, no, out. Like it's like homework. Go ahead, Kevin. Good. You're good now. I didn't mean to do that. But it looks like he's like stressed out. Like he's like flipping my dick, wasting time. <laughs> yeah, <he> goes, <laughs> look on. at you grab it by the top. I what gotta, a fucking. He's like, he's like, I gotta get a 1200 or better. I am not gonna get into this college. <laughs> yeah, he's like, okay, he's winking at you. <laughs> Jacob, he's winking at you. This guy's real playful with one ball. Yeah, he's got really weird nuts. Helicopter. helicopter. Yeah, <laughs> he's helicoptering it. He's just, he keeps giving his dickhead a noogie. We always we did tell ourselves before we ever started doing the bonfire uh, four days a week. Remember, we said if there's ever 
like less than six minutes downtime at the end of the show. We don't want to end early. We got to fill with something. It's going to be young men flapping dick, <laughs> and we did it, everybody. We did. We're it. at the end of the bond, and now he's done. Even even the gay, even the young gay kid jerking off is done. Um, can I say that I am so happy to have in studio the first couple of the bonfire, Nicole and Captain D. Thanks for coming in, guys. You guys, Thanks. I hope you had fun today. We love you I guys. Hope, I guys. hope you guys can travel to Las Vegas next Tuesday. Us too. Yeah, June fifth. Are you guys going to go? Are you guys going to try to go? Well, look into it. June fifth, Las Vegas. <laughs> if you can get there, go there because they Big broke Jay, up over it today. Well, Jay's going to be taping his half hour for Netflix. The Degenerates. I'm burping when I'm talking. Tblus dot com slash Netflix Vegas. Uh, big out. Big ups to the guy on on Twitter who told me that I was saying backslash and that's wrong. It's just slash. Just slash. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm dumb. Tblus dot com slash Netflix Netflix Vegas and use the code Bonfire for priority seating. Big J's taping a special next Tuesday in Las Vegas. Two so shows. Come, two shows. One night. So two please, shows. Yeah. One night. Come on out. Tblus dot com slash Netflix Vegas and then of course Big J is going to be headlining the Tampa Improv June seventh through the ninth and then going to be at the Orlando Improv June fourth. 14th through the 16th. For tickets and other tour dates, go to BigJComedy.com. And Dan Soder going to be a good night in Raleigh, North Carolina. That is an amazing club uh, to see him at. That's going to be Thursday, May 31st. That's this weekend. Thursday, May 31st through Saturday, June 2nd. For tickets and all their tour dates, visit DanSoder.com and make sure you check out Billions. Uh, only a few episodes left. Two. This week Season and the next week. three of Billions airing Sundays, 10 p.m. only on Showtime. As usual, follow us at The Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And we'll see you tomorrow with another live Goddamn right. episode mm. of The Bonfire. Mm. Keep jacking and wagging.